your channel banner is the best way to pull new people in and I'm here to show you how you can make a brand new channel banner. Here we go. And welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert, and you know that because I put it in my channel banner. A channel banner is very important to grab people, to direct people, and to generally make your channel look much more professional. And help from my friends at Place It, I'm going to show you how you can create your own channel banner that's eye catching and on point. Let's go to the computer. As you may have seen recently, I changed my YouTube channel banner. And one of the best ways to do it is by using Place It. You do is go to designs, YouTube templates. From the drop down menu, you're able to type what type of template you want to do. There is banners, there's end cards, there's thumbnails. So I'm going to today show you the banners and you'll scroll down on the left hand side. Once again, you will see that the banner maker suggests there is 283 different banners. Today, I'm going to pretend that I'm some kind of gamer. So I'm going to scroll down, flick through some of the, the templates. I'm going to pick a template and we'll We'll use one of those to mock up a gaming channel, shall we? So I've chosen this one because this is, you know, pretty cute. I'm, I was born in the 80s and I've got love for you if you were born in the 80s. So let's mock up what my gaming channel name would be. For example, 8-Bit Spicer, Retro Gaming Reviews, new videos every week. So therefore I've told you what my channel is, 8-Bit Spicer. I told you in the channel banner what I'm doing, Retro Gaming Reviews. Right, and it's new videos every week. You can flick through any different type of font you want and it will auto change it for you. This is so if you've got a specific font to match on your own already existing branding, then you can do so. You can change the arrow that's on the right hand side. Here you go. You can move it around if you want as well. Right, where the subscribe happens to be. You can change the, the lining around the font in the middle. You can even change the the background style, if you so wish. So there's graveyards, and there's cactuses, like a platformer. You can upload your own background at any point, should you wish, right? And when you are done, it is simple as clicking download. It will tell you that it's gonna download at the size that it needs to, which is 2560 by 1440 pixels. It's in high resolution. Simply click download now. It will put it in a queue in the top right hand corner. And when it's ready, you can download it to your bar. And in one of my test accounts, I'll show you how to upload it. It's as simple as going to customize channel. You add your artwork, you upload it from your computer. I'm simply gonna drag and drop it. It loads up how it looks on demos and examples for your laptop, your TV, and your mobile. You can adjust the crop. So therefore, you know, if you, if you want it to be tighter, then you can do so. Or if you want it a little wider, then that's fine. It's pretty much already sized at the 2560, 1440. And then I'm going to save it. It will load. And you'll see that I've got a subscribe thing here. I've got my icon here. It's got 18 bit spicer. And when I add YouTube channel links, they will show up here. If you need help with intros, outros, or anything branding, check out this playlist here. Go out there, start creating.